I couldn't be prouder um, of this group and just for everything that they've accomplished this season. GSW's run may have come to an end, but that doesn't stop what the Lady Canes are going to be able to do going forward. This program hopes to continue to build after taking another step in 2024. Corey Tomlin and Kayla Langley, the only two seniors on the roster, so they should bring back a majority of their players. And then we know Hayden is excited for another recruiting class. But maybe even more importantly, it's the relationship between the coach and the top line at GSW. She spoke a little bit about how that relationship has helped build the program into what it is today. We, I think, probably have one of the smaller departments, um, and they just make it feel big time for our players, and I think that experience is so important. Um, you don't have this kind of success without that type of support. Like our athletic director, Mike Leader, I mean, he, he puts his blood, sweat, and tears into, um, into his athletic department um, to help give us um, the things that we need to be successful, and um, we just we couldn't be more grateful for that. Now, there's no doubt this team will have opportunities in the future to get back to this point, be sure to tune in April 11th. We will have a special episode of Sports Talk taking a look back at the season that was for GSW and the Lady Canes. We may even have some special guests in studio to celebrate the Canes' success this year. Well, that is all from St. Joseph, Missouri. The Lady Canes fall short in the Elite Eight, 93-88 to Minnesota State. Reporting from the NCAA Championships, Aaron Mukes, WALB, your hometown news source.